10 ways Naruto would be different if Minato were the main character. With Minato as the main character, the series would be capable of telling a story that left plenty of room for Naruto's to be told as well. It's hard to imagine Naruto without the title character at the center of it. He was the linchpin to the entire series, a character who was there for more than just battles. His philosophies were an integral part of the series' overall story and helped push it to the heights it reached. It wouldn't be the same without him. That difference is what would make a series centered around Minato so interesting. It could maintain the basic premise while letting it branch out into various new directions. It'd be capable of telling a story that left plenty of room for Naruto's to be told as well. 10. The era would be different. The most obvious difference is the era of the shinobi world would need to change. It'd need to follow Minato's rise into being a jonin in charge of Kakashi, Abito, and Rin. This change may not seem like much at first, but the ninja world was on pins and needles at this point. There was no love lost between the five nations, and the threat of war and death always hung over everyone. It'd also allow for older characters to be shown in their primes, such as Hiruzen and Jiraiya. 9. The story would be far darker. As the era would change, so too would the story. Death would be more prevalent, making the tale far darker and the one given with Naruto as the protagonist. It would be an adult tale from the jump, showing the dangers and pitfalls of war from the very beginning. The biggest moments could still remain what happened to Abito and when Kakashi had to kill Rin. They'd be amplified here as they would be the primary team the viewer followed. 8. Story would be one of love overcoming all. While Naruto's story was about overcoming the cycle of hatred thanks to Naruto's beliefs in peace, Minato's would be about love trying to prosper in a time of war. The storyline with Kushina and Minato would be one of the main driving points of the story, making her the deuteragonist for much of it. It'd give an added weight to the battle with the masked man attacking the village. Hitting hard emotionally if it had the same result. 7. The story would show Minato's time as Hokage. A proper tale with Minato couldn't be complete without him becoming Hokage. That half of the anime would be Minato Shippuden, showing off how his name spread throughout the villages with fear. Establishing himself as the yellow flash of legend. It could delve into what it meant to be a Hokage in a time of war, something Boruto can't do for Naruto quite yet. It'd help build to the final conflict with the masked Uchiha as well. 6. The other villages would have more of a focus. It wouldn't take over 500 episodes to get the other villages into the act as Kumogakure kidnapped Kushina while Minato was still a genin. Introducing them as a villain immediately. The same could be said of Kirigakure with Rin. All of the villages would be there from the beginning because they would be the villains of the series rather than an organization such as Akatsuki. The story would get to encompass the entire globe while still focusing on Kanoha. 5. Jiraiya would get to be the Kakashi. Given how good of a teacher Jiraiya was with Minato's son, it'd be great to see him as one of the primary characters in the series. It'd help flesh out his character even more and perhaps even delve into his time as a Sanin via side arcs or flashbacks. There would also be plenty of time to dig into the Child of Prophecy, of which Jiraiya believed Minato to be. It'd give the series a whole different tone, showing Minato as the chosen one rather than as a cast-off like Naruto was. 4. Minato wouldn't have a typical rival. Rivalries are a big part of shonen and as such, played a huge role in Naruto. That wouldn't be the case, with Minato, he wouldn't have an equal in Konoha. And the closest thing to a Sasuke would be Kakashi, his very own student. With no rival, it'd open up different avenues of storytelling, focusing more on the teacher and student relationship instead.
It's why Kakashi would start becoming as much of a protagonist by the time of a Shippuden. 3. Minato's lasting impact would be getting the world to view Jinchuriki as people. Minato wouldn't be able to bring the lasting peace that Naruto did because that simply wasn't in his character. What he would be able to do is get the world to view the Jinchuriki as people rather than weapons of war. He did it once in a flashback when fighting the future Reikage, A. Eh? He reminded the Kumulvikur Nin that B should always be protected because he was A's brother. The message resonated with A, and it was something he carried with him forever. 2. Everything to do with the sage Atsutsuki wouldn't exist. There would be no Moon Eye plan, nor would there be a arrival of Kagaya or the entire Atsutsuki clan. Abito would stay as one of the final villains. Madara being more of a background character, but rather than trying to give the world peace, Abito would be filled with anger. He'd be much like Sasuke was during the war, trying to gain revenge on Minato after blaming him for the death of Rin. Giving their final battle very real and personal stakes. 1. The ending would be bittersweet. The climax of the series would have to be the battle between Abito and Minato, going along many of the same lines as it did during the flashback episodes of Naruto. Minato and Kushina would still sacrifice themselves to protect their son, ending the series on a bittersweet note as opposed to the uplifting one of Naruto. The only change that would need to be made is Minato learning who was beneath the mask. Realizing he was fighting his former student. <laughs>